I would like to show you uh, how I built my first web app, uh, web app with the Django and um, Python. So uh, first of all, I will start to run the server. So I'm going to the terminal. I have here this command, which is run server. I hit enter. And as you can see, the, the server is running. So here is a development server, which I can use, which is only on my local uh, machine. So I copy paste it. I have it already ready here, so I hit enter. As you can see here is not much at the moment, but I will change it. So I have here also another page, which I actually created for those purposes. And that's uh, with the URL, um, which is with the slash admin. Um, and now I'm uh, here and I will click on login. Uh, groups and users, that's by default um, in a, on an admin page. And I created here posts for my blog. blog. Um, posts, that's uh, also a database table. Um, so when I click on it and I click on add post, I can add some posts. So I will write, I will put their admin. Then I have here some ready text. Okay. So recently I learned about callback functions in JavaScript. Let's copy paste that. So create a date, that's uh, actual time. And then publish date, I can also put there today, now. And uh, I would like to also maybe explain these things because they are not like uh, created there by default, I had to create them. So for uh, in a database table called posts, uh, I put there a database fields like author, title, text, created date, and published date. So, but you can actually create any uh, database table, uh, like fields you want, any um, database uh, fields, and then also to interconnect them between themselves and to add their functionality and conditions for um, those uh, database tables. So now I click on save. So it appeared here. And here, let's reload this page. And you can see it appeared. So, uh, and uh, how I did it in a code. So I actually connected the view of the website with the, with the database. And, um, and then it actually could appear here also the date um, and the text and the title. As you can see here, I have here uh, the option to click on uh, the title. If I click on that, I'm redirected to another URL, which is post slash five, because I also tested it before. So I have here five because I deleted some and I added some. Um, uh, on this page, um, I have the option to also change it. So I can click on pencil and then write something additional and click on save and it appears. Um, I can go also to the main page so that I click on Marie's blog. That's also clickable. I enabled that feature. And as you can see, it goes to the main um, uh, page. Um, I have here uh, IP address. Uh, but you actually like usually what people do like uh, is that they pay for the domain and then um, uh, It's the option to actually deploy the website and uh, make it alive My web page is not alive. Uh, it was but my the license for the domain expired um, Also another thing what I also uh, enabled is here appears such a plus if you are logged in as a admin here and you can click on it. Then this URL changes 
to post slash new. I added that as well. Um, and then here you have the option to put a new post. So I can put another title. So let's go to my texts. Hmm. And I put their closures in JavaScript with a description so that it looks a little bit nicer. We can do like two paragraphs and click on save. Um, it redirects me back to post slash six where I can also like edit. And now when I click on Marie's post, I get to the main page. Yeah, it appears. Great. Yeah. Um, of course, that these are just the basic functionalities. I can also show you another thing, which I find really cool. Um, and that's this. Uh, so here you can also click on like when it's like a for a web page, it can look like this. And if you want like um, check what it looks like on the phone, um, you can look at it here. Of course, that for a phone there are different rules, and this is not that probably not that, not that nice. Or like some features don't have the are or don't look do, that great. Um, but it's also like possible that. that like possible to build this web page for a mobile um, at the same time. Okay, that's it.